If you've ever struggled to pick great looking colors and make great looking gradients for your creative work, well, you're not alone. You look at someone else's work and think, how did they get their work looking so good? Well, there is a, a secret, a formula of sorts that I'm gonna go through in this video. There's essentially five different things that you can add into your creative process that is gonna massively help you when it comes to picking colors and creating great looking gradients. So let's just kick this off with number one. So first up, go to color.adobe.com. This website is awesome for a whole host of different reasons, but what I want to draw your attention to is on the left, you can filter by different types of color combinations. We're going to select monochromatic and pretty much anywhere you drag these color picker swatch things around, you're going to get five colors that are going to look pretty good together and you can pretty much pick any of these colors and add them to a gradient slider and they will look good. The next thing is to consider avoiding 100% saturation. I know, I know some people are going to say, Dan, 100% saturation is great. You're goddamn right. That's fine. For me personally, it's always a bit too much for most creative things. So I like to go 100% and then come left on the color picker about 20%, something like that. It just takes that oversaturation off for me. And uh, I think it looks a little bit better. You can also go to the top to get maximum brightness and then bring the color picker down a pinch just so it looks a little bit better. I don't know, that's just one of those things that I've done throughout my career. And uh, yeah, time and again, it seems to produce good looking colors and gradients, at least good in my opinion. So. You know, take that one with a pinch of salt, but try it out. Hopefully it helps. Another trick is to switch to a neighboring color on the hue slider. So if you've got red at the top, don't jump all the way to green because red and green should never be seen apart from Christmas. But even then, ugh, looks a bit naff. Ugh, Christmas jumpers, awful. Anyway, yeah, so pick uh, like purple, blue, go from blue to turquoise. See what I'm saying here? These colors are next to each other on the color slider and um, they blend together very harmoniously and they consequently make good gradients. So uh, yeah, give it a go. Number four is to use Photoshop. Now in the latest version of Photoshop, in fact, I think it was actually a few versions ago they added this, but they've added a whole bunch of gradient presets, like loads filtered into folders and you've got like red, orange, yellow. No, no yellow, but you've got green, blue, and a bunch of other colors. There's loads of different gradient combinations in there so you can just play around with them and see which ones you like. And as I say, if you get stuck picking different colors and you struggle to pick gradients, then just use these as a starting point. And lastly, number five is just look at what other designers are doing, what inspires you, gradients that you look at and go, that is magnifique. And then take those gradients, not literally like steal them, but be inspired by them and then apply that to your creative work. So yeah, look at the people that inspire you, what they're doing, and then try and incorporate some of those colors into your work. And there we go, five tips to help you pick better colors and make better gradients. If you did enjoy this one, you can subscribe for more. Take care and I'll see you next time.